right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Before I play the video, I feel like I should do some explaining. If you want to just skip to the video, you can click this time frame. Otherwise, just hear me out on this one. Right, so we went to this place called St. Andrews, and apparently it's one of the most haunted places that's around here. So me and my friends were curious, and we took a road trip up there. And I actually seen a video that's on YouTube through Facebook that's in this courthouse, and you can hear a woman scream, get your knife, or something like that. I'll, I'll play the clip, and you guys can uh, go see the original video if you want to. So yeah, after seeing that clip, I was just completely curious and I wanted to go up there for a while. So we finally went up for the day and we went to the liquor store and we were asking about just random haunted places and the woman basically said, you guys gotta be careful because this whole town is haunted. She told us about this courthouse and I knew the courthouse from that video. So we went to the courthouse and we were just walking around and just seeing outside the courthouse and the jail cell because they're right beside each other. So we were there for like 10 minutes of just looking in the windows and stuff and some old woman pulls up in her car and she walks into the jail cell. She walked out of the jail cell and she basically just introduced herself and told us that if we come back in half an hour to 45 minutes then she would do a ghost walk or a ghost tour with us and show us inside of the buildings. So I was obviously super excited because it was not even planned like that. We were just gonna go see the buildings. She was telling us that a man was hung outside the jail cell. She said someone took a picture inside the jail cell and in the picture, everything was missing, but in person, everything was still there. And they had the picture of that. I just haven't found it yet. They said it was on their Facebook page. This footage may be disturbing to some viewers, so viewer discretion is advised. Then we get to go inside now. We're going inside right now? Yeah. <laughs> 19%. I'm so ready. And was it fully charged before? Oh, wait, no. can we not record in here? I'm still recording. I actually think this is more haunted. So it's actually the oldest courthouse in Canada. It was actually opened in 1840 and it's still a working courthouse to this day. Wow. Yeah, and I think it's actually more haunted in here than it is in the jail. Really? Well, that's where the video was heard, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was in here. You'll notice one woman caught that going off, that middle line. Am I allowed to sit up there? Yeah. What? Are, are we allowed to take photos, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. These are the actual original, let me put some lights on. These are the actual original court lamps from the 1840s. And also, um, handprints appear on the wall. Handprints appear on the wall. Yeah. On the Where? What? Yeah, cool, eh? Yeah, see if Thomas is home. See if Thomas is home. Who's Thomas, you say? He's Sergeant, Roland, Sergeant Thomas Roland Hutchins. And this is where most of the staff moves. Hello, Thomas, how are you? Are you gonna move for me tonight, my friend? This is the coat hanger and other than, and if you take pictures, you'll find loads of orbs in here. Oh. Is it moving? Yes, it is moving. Hello, Thomas. <gasps> oh my God. Are you filming this? Yes. Oh my God. Oh. Hey, Thomas, how are you? I, thank you very much for moving. You didn't move for Mary, but you did move for me. <laughs> See? And I'm not doing anything. Oh my God. That's insane. How? Is it gonna move back? Can you move it back, Thomas? Go on, you know you want to. Go on, just move it slightly or put a handprint on the wall for me. See the gallows you're about to see in the jail? They were found directly underneath here. And that was only a few years ago. The what, sorry? The original gallows that the man, who I believe, haunts this. Really? Huh. So Thomas, are you gonna move it again? Or are you just tired? Or well, it's maybe too early. Seven o'clock is a very active time in here. Yeah. I have a question. Do you guys always leave this coat hanger here for Thomas? Yeah. Just as a sign? Well, no, it's, it's just always been here. Yeah? but the gallows were found directly underneath the floor here. And you feel there is no air coming out of the vents. That was so really scary. Yeah. I mean, you can say yes, okay, you can move it, but for it to actually swing. Yeah. Can I say it? It's moving. Thomas, if you're here, will you move the coat hanger to the right?
You think he's in his cell? I think he's in his cell. Talk to him and try to make it move. He's that was so messy. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you my spirit with benefits. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it does it does move. Yeah, yeah it's it swung the whole way yeah. around. Yeah. Go on, you know you want to, just move it the other way. Move it, move it. Where did you say the handprints appear? Just on the walls? On the wall outside, I'll show you. It may or may not. And that may move the minute we walk away. Because if it doesn't, if I don't pay enough attention, it kind of goes with ballistic. Are you moving again? No. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas, what are you doing? Now come on. Now did you just move that? Yeah, yeah, I moved it by accident. Yeah, we were moving because she actually <laughs> hit it by mistake. Oh, okay. Turn around. Well, it doesn't turn around though, does it? No. 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 So. No, we just put it there. Are you going to move it slightly? Just move it round. Go on, you know you want to. Oh come my on, God. come on, come to Annie from the city. You know you want to. Yep, there it goes. There we go. No, I'm not demonic. I'm not possessed. <laughs> <laughs> I do point that out. But yeah, now say, so can you turn it the other way? And then we'll leave you be. We're just going to go to your cell. We hope you're in there. Let me see. What was creepier was hearing that woman's voice saying, I don't Get know. your knife. I don't know if it was get your knife, check your knife, or judge your life. Judge if it was check the life, the light went on and off on its own two weeks ago in the corridor. Yeah. Then this light, the cover came down. And the light went on and off in the centre table. Really? Yeah. Tracy and myself, you can hear us. Jessica's out there, she didn't even realise she'd caught it. She sent it to me like two weeks later, a private message, and I just, mm -hmm. she said, what to say? And I said, straight away, I knew what she was saying. So I said, check your life, check your life, check the knife, get the knife, or judge your life. It's open up to discussion now. Yeah. <laughs> okay! We were out there and the door started shaking. It was the a lady. The door started shaking. No, it was and there was a lady. a lady coming in. Oh my god. My heart is No, Abby, pain. we were walking away and it swung from side to side. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> What's, What's that? in this room? Are you going to move it one more time? Like, one more time. Okay. Too complex. Too complex. But yeah. There it goes. See it's moving again. No way. What? I told you it's haunted. Yeah. See people, I can't automatically make it do it, but you can see it does it. That just... Is functioning washer? Yeah. May I use it? Yes, I would love to use that washroom after Devin does, but I cannot believe that just moved by itself again. Go on. Go on, Thomas. I think it's Thomas. I'm hoping it's Thomas anyway. Is that door not open? No. Yeah, the door was just opened. What? Are you still in here? The door that we seen closed. Uh, that's open now. That door was closed. And that was locked. Are you serious? What? Are you serious right now? She closed the door behind her. Yeah. Yeah. Is it locked on my way? No, I had to push the lock on, but she's gone and she pushed the lock on. She thought, because she came in through the phone. Be interesting to leave um, a camera directly at this for the night. Right. Yeah. Oh, the whole night. For the I was going to say, for the rest of this, I'll leave my phone here. <laughs> I feel, yeah. Can I sit in this chair? Sure. I just don't want my phone to die. Well, do you have a charger? No. What kind of phone is that? iPhone 5. Oh, I don't think yeah. you're lying. I do that. It's in the car. But there's just... But it's strange that you said, was there somebody upstairs when you came by the jail earlier? Because... Yeah, I was yeah you upstairs. thought I was upstairs. I thought you were upstairs. I was outside. You guys heard something upstairs? Yeah. yeah I heard... When I went out... Because I went outside, back in Rebecca's car. On the wall the floor. Really? And that's a folder that I was working on. I can show you the red folder because I brought it downstairs to work on while you guys were in the jail. 
because I'm just going to lock you guys in. I'll be there. I mean, I'll spend it with you. It was a base month. So. Okay. That doesn't surprise me because these lights have a mind of their own. Yeah. Yeah. Those lights turned off by themselves. One of them, yeah. No, the middle one turned itself on and off in August and the one we caught it on video. It's on the Facebook page, I'll show you. And it's so quick that no, and there was like 48 people right. in here. And you see people either side of here. And look, there's no way anything can be done. Yeah. Right. Right. And the people here don't even look at it. They, nobody notices it. And you can hear me talking. Right. Nobody even notices it. I don't even notice it. But the woman was sat in the jury chair. Now, earlier today, I brought a friend of mine in who's visiting from Toronto. And we took a couple of pictures. And she automatically went to the third jury show. And I said, so you know when that woman caught that boy saying, check your knife? There was something that moved out of that. I just saw the board, but as I took a picture, but I didn't catch it on the camera. Yeah, that's, it's incredible. That third chair is where, um, after you hear that check the knife or whatever it's saying, you can hear, see something move out of the chair. So my friend automatically sat there and she said, well, there's something pulled me in here. And I went, yeah. Yeah. See, I, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even take the picture yet. I just saw it go through my camera. You saw an orb go through your camera? Yeah, I just told him, like, Are you serious? What just what? happened? Okay, what just happened? <laughs> Marcus, what? That camera just got knocked out of my hand. I'm not even kidding you. Okay. Well, I was going to say, how did your camera actually turn around the other way? <laughs> Yeah. Are you serious right now? What the hell, Marcus? <sighs> He's so scared. You look really scared. <laughs> I don't even know what you're going to be like when I put you in jail. Here, buddy. Get oh. you. Did you run into this, though? No. Like, how? I don't understand. Guys, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. No, no, people, I'm not even kidding. I feel like I need to leave right now. There is actually a man here who's actually seen off anybody who's tried to do any kind of filming in here. I, like, oh, I can, I, can I leave? <laughs> I need to go outside for a second. <laughs> That's honestly so sketchy. Well, I can say, yeah. Hang on. The, so that is locked and that opened by, yeah. that opened by itself. Yeah. No, I'm not even kidding. That's actually so messed up. And on Creepy Canada, it will tell you there is a man here who actually um, looks out the window and he has a noose. What? And he sees off anybody who is videotaping. Once it's dark, I'm taking a picture from that window. Now. Yeah. Okay, so where are we going right now? What is this place? This is the old jail. This is the old jail. <laughs> Above here was a man who was suspended. Go Suspension hung. No, my he was hung from the top floor. Right here, right above you. It's called a suspension hanging. This is why we have... Thomas likes to hold the door shut. Start pushing again. Thomas Start likes to hold the door shut. Please push hard to open and come in. Thank you.